Welcome everybody to Conceptual Physics. We are going to be talking about 1D kinematics, the first unit of conceptual physics. As we get started, let's just first think about what is 1D and what is kinematics. We hear about 2D, 3D all the time, but we actually never really hear about 1D. All right, let's jump in. All right, so one dimension, straight line to the left or to the right, up, down, east, west, etc. Okay, so one dimension is talking about one plane. So you could be talking about this motion from left to right. I shouldn't say motion yet. You, should be, you could just be talking about left to right. That's one dimension. You could be talking about up and down. That's also one dimension. But you cannot combine the two, okay? A lot of times this left to right, we call that on the X plane. And the up and down, we call that on the white Y plane. However, when we do something like a circle, or let's say a stick figure, this is now in 2D. They're both in the X direction, they're drawn in the X direction, and they're both drawn in the Y direction. Okay, so when I'm drawing something like a circle or a stick figure, it has both an X direction and a Y direction, or it's drawn on both of those planes, and that's why it's in 2D. So in this chapter, what we're gonna be talking about is things that are uh, kinematics, which is the study of motion using words, numbers, graphs, and equations in one dimension, okay? So one dimension, meaning it's either gonna be uh, problems that are left to right or east to west, or problems that are up and down, north to south, and so on and so forth, okay? Okay. Before we do that, let's talk about scalars versus vectors. So there are a lot of different mathematical quantities used in physics. Examples of these include acceleration, velocity, speed, force, work, and power. These different quantities are often described as being either scalar or vector quantities. So a scalar quantity has only a magnitude, number, or value. Okay. An example of something that we're going to see soon is speed. Speed is a scalar. Let's say something is going 50 miles an hour. This has just a magnitude, okay? It has just a value. It's not saying what direction it's going in. It doesn't say um, which way it's going. It just says 50 miles an hour. That's how fast this car is going, this ball is going, or so forth. While a vector is a quantity that has both a magnitude and a direction. So if we're talking about speed, just has a magnitude, 50 miles an hour. Uh, we can talk about velocity that has a magnitude, let's say 50 miles an hour, but also a direction, let's say east, okay? So scalar, let's say if you're driving down, if you look at the speed limit of a highway, it'll say the speed limit is 65 miles per hour, okay? It doesn't show like a direction or anything like that. It just says that's just what it is. But a velocity says maybe your car is going 50 miles an hour, north or east or west or south it also gives a direction you can push something and you're going to be pushing it to the right that has a direction okay so scalars just have a magnitude while vectors have a magnitude and a direction okay which of the following are scalars and which are vectors okay so you can pause the video whenever you want to just try to figure it out for yourself but look at these and let's kind of, we're going to go by through them one by one so five meters Again, it just it's not really implying any kind of a direction. It's a scalar. 30 meters per second east. We can see we have a direction here, east. So when we have that, uh, this is telling us that it is a vector. 20 degrees Celsius. So this one might be a little bit tricky. You might be thinking, hmm, thermometers kind of have that bar and could go up and down. However, I want you to think about temperature, 20 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Celsius or 5 degrees Fahrenheit, whatever. It doesn't really have a direction. It's not like 5 degrees Fahrenheit to the right. It's like temperature doesn't have a direction, okay? So that means we're going to call it a scalar. 4,000 calories. Again, maybe we could think about it direction, something getting bigger or smaller or whatever. However, it doesn't have direction. It just is what it is, scalar. Negative 10 centimeters. It's a strange one. So this one actually is a vector. And the reason why it is a vector is this negative here implies a certain direction. A lot of times this negative implies either going to the left, going down, 
is there something that's going west or south but a lot of times this negative implies a certain direction okay all right let's look at this in physics you'll often see a negative sign this will often imply a direction unless otherwise stated a negative implies left down south west etc for example Charlie pushed a box with a force of negative 50 newtons would look like the following. So this is what a drawing of something being pushed at negative 50 newtons is. It's maybe going to the left. Okay, it's just an example. It's not always the case that it's going left, down, south, to west. Pretty much in these example problems that we do in this class, it will almost always be that case. But, uh, but pretty much most of the time, unless it otherwise specifies, you can assume that negative usually means left, down, south, or west. Okay, and that'll make more sense as time goes on. Okay, conceptual example. Which of the following are examples of positive direction? Okay, circle all the ones that you feel like are positive directions. Pause it if you need to. There you go. Okay, moving on. Which of the following are examples of negative directions? Pause if you need to. <laughs> okay, Tonathan is pushing the box with a force of 40 newtons. Billy is pushing on the box with a force of negative 20 newtons. From looking at the picture below, which figure is Tonathan uh, and which figure is Billy? Okay, so I know we have arrows here, but I'm going to kind of draw a little bit different. I'm going to draw this person here. This person in blue, I believe, is pushing to the left. Okay, and this push person in red over here is pushing to the right. Okay. The person that's pushing to the left is going to be pushing uh, with a negative force. So this is, I guess, negative 20 newtons. And the person pushing to the right is going to be pushing with a positive force, which is going to be 40 newtons. Okay, so whoever is pushing to the right uh, is going to be the positive. So Tonathan is pushing the box with a force of positive 40 newtons. So this is going to be Tonathan. And Billy's pushing the book a force uh, of negative 20 newtons. So this is Billy. Okay, so this is what it should look like. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. This is the first video of conceptual physics. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we're going to be talking about distance versus displacement.